I need it. I might. I'm gonna get me some crabs, some fish, some broccoli. It's bound to be lit. My fish and shrimp, my broccoli. <laughs> yeah, bam. We put a little bit more butter. Yeah. Yeah, bam. <laughs> about to feast, get my beverage, it's gonna be a nice, a nice evening. I'm about to dive in and then I had to make my special sauce to go with it. It's a whole vibe. My shells. Okay, I made it back. It's it's a little windy out here. I am not feeling this weather at all. <laughs> but I made my concoction, my little mixture for my crab legs. Ooh. We'll tell y'all what's in it. But see, one day I'm gonna open up my personal food cart and I tell y'all what's in it, y'all won't want the shell of bean sauce. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is the only part I hate about crabs breaking them shits up. Oh, you know what? While I'm sitting here indulging in my seafood, I am going to go right ahead. Ooh, that's a nice, nice piece. I'm gonna go right ahead. This with the saw. Mmm. I'm gonna go right ahead and continue surviving the game. Part two episode two and this part is going to be the beginning of how I even got into that lifestyle so literally starting off where I, where I finished I am going to talk about how it all began the beginning and I mean like the beginning 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 yeah, yeah, so, boom, I got online, and I started talking to this, this young boy, this guy, whatever you want to call him, and, um, you know, I, I responded to the ad that he posted up. It was saying, like, big booty girls, fat asses, apple bottom booties, some shit like that, a thousand dollars a night. I was uh, like, ooh, bands, okay, okay. Then he had like, you know, the app was like all over. He had mad different states on it and shit. Oh, we traveling and getting money. Okay, this my, is this my kind of party. Girl, listen, I'm gonna tell y'all, I did not know what the fuck I signed up for. I was popped and panicking and it was it was it was it that's it I met him up I met him in Brooklyn Star Race City I'll never forget it and you know we was talking and walking around and then he was like I gotta have an interview after we done spoke for like 20 25 minutes and I'm like a fucking interview. Of course I ain't tell him I was fake running from my block and I done got into some shit. That wasn't for him to know. But you know, he didn't know what the fuck was going on. So, so what I did was 
say an interview an interview for what I, I was under the assumption that I was about to be a stripper or something you know I didn't care what the fuck it was I just wanted to get far away from the Bronx as possible and he was my meal ticket out and guess what the interview was I had to suck his motherfucking dick in the staircase I mean, I'm just like, yo, what? What the fuck is going on here? I mean, in my mind. And then, uh, uh, and then he was kind of cute. Puerto Rican, green eyes and shit. Little skinny nigga. So I was already sold. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was ready. I was in it to win it. So I put on my South Bronx. My South Bronx attitude with my South Bronx swag. In that moment, I created a whole persona of who I was going to be. And I was everything I, I'd never, ever been in my life. So, for every tough girl, any tough nigga that I thought resided in these projects in my hood, I was them all in one. I said, if I get into some shit, I'm going to think like this person. I'm going to act like this person. I'm going to bully my way like this person. And I was the perfect person. <laughs> so, boom, we get to Long Island. And we in Long Island. And we link up with some other girls. And with some other girls. And, um, it was a few guys in there. It was a lot of shit going on. And I was in Wine Dance, Long Island, on Garden City Ave. Oh, but fucking nuts, yo. It, it, it dawned on me when I got in the house that this was a full blown prostitution ring going on in here. I mean, they wasn't selling ass and pussy from inside the house, but this was the headquarters. I couldn't believe it. So, in that moment, I wasn't under no pimp. I ain't. I ain't know what the fuck was going on. They kept saying she green, she green. Now, in this day and age, I know what the fuck green means. A bitch who don't know shit about shit, don't know what's going on. So whatever you tell her, that's all she gonna know. Need no basis. Yeah, they had me like that. So, I rolled with the punches. And um, he, he act like he was an agency, you know? Like, he had a, a escort, an agency and shit. Stripper, porn, and did everything. So he said, right? So then I met the, one of the girls. She uh was on me hard body. She was liking me. And y'all know I was so polite and shit. Hey, hey. He <laughs> smiling, laughing, a little nervous. I mean, a lot fucking nervous. But yeah. And she was getting mad at the the, the guy and shit, Mr. Green Eyes. She was. Getting mad at his ass. Uh, they, you know, they was just going through mad shit. And I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? Then it was one girl, another girl, who I absolutely adore to this day. She always should to be nice and fair. Mad cooling down the earth. And they had a little a little team, you know, they was they was getting to it. One of the girls was renegade. And the other girl was at that time I think she was half renegade, half under pimping, I forgot. It was just crazy. Yeah, I think she was on the pimp. I don't remember. But, um, what I do know is, there was one and popping from there. And, the game was meant to be sold, not told. So I learned every lesson the hard way. Through trial and error, through huh, money, and everything else you can imagine. Never forget this, so boom. It was me and the two girls, we riding out. And you know, they phone ringing, popping, doing dates, in and out. And I'm just in the back seat, like taking it all in, like, wow, this is crazy, yo. So one 
of the girl goes in, she this is one of her regulars, so she goes to the date and she calls the other girl like tell her to come in. And I'm like, come in. <laughs> so but I heard it like her because you know we in the car and it's what's so loud and shit. So I'm like me. So the girl's like, yeah, I think the guy wanna see you. I said, he wanna see me. I was so scared, y'all. So fucking scared. So I jumped out the car. I, mind you, I got on these hills that I cannot even fucking walk in. I got on this slutty ass skimpy outfit. Like it was it was just crazy. So I get in the house. And she was like, this is my sister. She's beautiful, right? Look at these big titties. And then she pulls out my titty and starts soaking it. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> oh, hell no. But it was feeling good. So I didn't stop her. So then she stopped. And she's like, you want to see her? You want to see her? You want to see both of us? You want to see both of us? And he was like, yeah, yeah. Both of you. He pulled out six hundred dollars and he gave it to me, and I'm just like, Nah, what? Huh? So I take my clothes off. She starts sucking my titties. Then she start going to suck his dick. Then he's like telling me, Play with your pussy, suck your titties, and I was just doing everything sad. No lie, y'all. No cap. In like five minutes, maybe it was less than that. The man nuts. I mean, he bust a load and it was over. And it was over. I mean, like, over, done. She started getting dressed. I started getting dressed. I'm like, what the fuck? Then I was like, can I go to the bathroom? So I go in the bathroom and I'm like, Like, I had one of those moments, yeah, because I could not believe I just got paid $600 to play with my pussy and get my titty sucked. Like, come again? And you know what, my shells? I was a prostitute from that moment on. And then I, that girl, she turned me out. Like, we started doing two girl dates. And it was, it was fucking insane, y'all. Like, it was intense. I was loving it, like, the, the thrill, the money, it, it was just, it was fucking unbelievable, like, it was crazy, and I just, I was hooked, that whole entire night, I think I made, like, I forgot, yeah, I'm sorry, I really forgot, but I know that first day was $600, and that was it. I was all the way in. It's windy out here. It is 5 in the morning and I'm super early to start selling my breakfast tacos in the car. So I just thought I'd start vlogging and then telling you stories and I'll edit them later. And this one is actually going to be posted today. Today when I get off the car and go home and edit the vlog. So my show, I love y'all. I'm so sorry it took me so long to, to finish this and complete this. I and then I don't know, I, it got deleted or I deleted it by mistake. So, like, this is done in like two different portions. Yeah. Be with me, y'all. It only gets better, it only gets greater. My child, I fucking love y'all. Thank y'all for fucking with me. Thank, thank y'all for being so loyal. Thank y'all for sticking it in with me. Thank y'all for believing in me, for being with every single vlog. It's a Wendy. I hope y'all can hear me. This is gonna fucking piss me off. Yeah, I can't. Maybe I should. Yeah, I'll figure it out. But listen, my shows.